Hi, my name is Ed Weehan, and I'm pleased to be your host today for this episode of Our Ventura. I have with me today Mallory McPherson Weehan, a high school student here in Ventura, and we're going to talk a little bit about the challenges and opportunities of being a student and being a youth here in the city of Ventura. Welcome, Mallory. Hello. Maybe just to start with, we could you could tell our viewers a little bit about who you are. Well, my name is Mallory McPherson Weehan. I'm a 17-year-old junior at Foothill Technology High School. Um, I was born in Ventura and um, I've lived here my entire life and I really love it. I've attended all of the public high schools, gone to lots of events. I feel like I interact a lot with high school and with uh, Ventura. So I love living in Ventura. It's a wonderful city. Good, good. Since we only have a limited amount of time here, I think the, probably the best thing is let's just dive into some issues and see where we can go with this. Sounds great. So let me ask you in high school, what do you see as the biggest challenges that students have to deal with? Well, um, I would say one of the biggest challenges would be peer pressure of drugs and alcohol outside of school. And um, that is becoming a bigger issue just with more availability of teenage drivers and technology and stuff. So that is probably the biggest challenge. Do you see, would you, cons would you say that there's a large percentage of kids in, in high school, or your high school, that, that are familiar with drugs and alcohol? Um, I would say a lot of kids have tried drugs and alcohol. Like, I would say more than a majority, but mm. not as many do it on a regular basis. It's more sporadically and spontaneously than on, you know, every Saturday night. Right. I mean, of course, there are those kids, but... Um, there's, they don't usually just do it all the time. Right. So often it's kids experimenting. Yeah, more than, more than anything else. I mean, they hear their friends talk about it. Right. And they're like, well, you know, why don't I try that? So, yeah. and then there's obviously the bad consequences that can happen from it. So. Yeah, for sure. Do you, um, do you think most of their parents are aware that this is occurring with their child in the school? I would say for the most part, no. I mean... Kids have gotten progressively better at keeping it a secret and mm -hmm. finding ways around their parents. So. Hmm. Interesting. How do the schools handle this issue? Um, well, we at Foothill, at least, we have a program called Every 15 Minutes that I think Ventura High School adopted this year. And Every 15 Minutes is a program that um, uses different um, programs around the county, such as like VCMC and the police department and the fire department and um, the Ju Judicial Center and puts them all together and reenacts um, a drunk driving crash. Mm. So um, it has 12 kids, well, I think it's around 12 kids, um, well, die um, as a result of a car crash um, where someone was drunk. Mm -hmm. And um, it's really powerful because you um, you see them, it's like a play, you, you see them go through the crash and then the guy who was the drunk driver goes to the hospital and you see people, well, fake die, and then you see people go to the government center and go through a trial, and it's very powerful to see some of your best friends up there who, I mean, in this are no longer with you. So right, right. that's one of the big things. And it's called Every 15 Minutes because um, a, a few years ago they did a statistic that every 15 minutes someone dies in a car crash hmm. from drunk driving, so. Oh, wow. So you think it's impactful on the students? Do you think it alters behavior very much? Um, I would say, I mean, it definitely opens a lot of people's eyes to how it could be. I mean, it's one thing to hear a story on the radio or right. hear it, see it in a newspaper that someone died from a drunk driving, but seeing your friends, seeing your, right. the, your peers at school, you know, dying from it is a big issue. And also they have people come and speak mm. about it, which... Um, it's, it's really interesting to hear them talk about it and see how it affected their lives and how it could affect yours just as easily. Like, no one expects it. Right, so. right. Um, and then the school environment, outside of every 15 minutes, the teachers, staff, you know, they must be aware and try to reinforce positive behavior in the students um, as well? Definitely. Actually, my friend's in journalism, so I went around with her and we talked to each of the teachers about like how drunk driving and their like families and environments have been affected and most of the teachers have had one or two or three of their family members and friends die from drunk driving so it's it's definitely a important issue it's very prevalent to right. school and how it affects people 
Interesting. Um, let's, let's move on a little bit here and talk to probably the other big thing that's evolved over the years, and that's technology. I mean, obviously, when I was in school, technology was entirely different than when you're, yes. you're here in school. <laughs> um, what impact or how does your school or our schools here in Ventura utilize technology for the learning process? Um, well, at least Foothill, Foothill Technology High School, we have a Technology is a huge part of our school. Every student at um, Foothill has to take um, education in a digital age, which is a technology class where we learn about Excel, Microsoft, um, different programs that mm -hmm. have to do with um, technology. Um, that's a big thing because no other school has that as a requirement, um, although they have their own version of it. And then also, I think. There's um, pods at Foothill that mm -hmm. have computers in them, so they're always open for you to go use the computers. Um, and also, we have a new iPad Academy at oh. Foothill, mm -hmm. so a lot of the teachers have these iPads, and it's super funny because my physio teacher, Mrs. Anderson, she has it, and she's so enthusiastic about having this iPad that she can, like, pretend cut up bones so we can see it because mm -hmm. we're in a skeletal unit. And um, before she would have to go around and explain to every student what it was like, but now she can do it in front of the class and it's a whole lot faster than it was before. So, you know, there, it's, it's a lot more successful, I feel, yeah. with the technology. Then in homework, other kinds of assignments? Well, actually, like today I just got a homework assignment that we have to read this book online. So it's no longer you go out and buy the book and read it in class. It's you read it on the board. We have mm. projectors. You read it there, or you go home and read it on the computer. Mm -hmm. Which sometimes I don't know. I don't necessarily like that, just because it's so hard to concentrate on a computer <laughs> scheme that we're taught to like go home and like go on Facebook and stuff about. And it's hard to concentrate on a computer reading when you have like four other tabs open with other social networks. Mm. So. But I mean, it's very progressive. It's saving a lot of paper. Sure. That's always good. Sure, save those trees. Yeah. Then <laughs> taking a look at technology on a personal basis. Um, obviously, communications between, between kids has, has yeah. changed a lot as well. So most of the kids, communications done by texting, that type of thing? I mean, it's funny because it used to be, you know, you would just go over to your friend's house if you want to talk to them. And there was the whole calling era. And now we're in, like, the texting era. And even, I mean, to a certain extent, we're past the texting era to Snapchatting, where you just take a picture of yourself and send it to someone. Like, just, you know, hey, and then it's a picture of your face. It's not even really texting anymore. Hmm. So it's a whole new level of technology. Um, but yeah, it's it's a whole different thing. I mean, there's rarely face-to-face -face conversations. Wow. I mean, I well, okay, I shouldn't say rarely. Yeah. Obviously, there are, but I mean, most relationships now, you know, it's you'd be surprised how many relationships start on you know social networks. So, kids, it's interesting. Kids from your school. Uh, well, I mean. I mean, you you see someone's Facebook, they like they friend request you on Facebook, and you're like, hey, I don't know you, and you message them, and then yeah. there's a new friend. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, I mean, I mean, you can't even really call them a friend because you don't know them. Right. But, right. You know, Facebook used the general term friend, right. and everyone you're friends with, all 1,500 people. Exactly. So, exactly. You know. Let's let's take a look at one other element of high school that affects <laughs> affects our community as well, and that's community service. Yeah. Um, Obviously, many students, some, I guess, um, are involved in community service, community service hours, et cetera. Volunteer, being volunteering throughout our city. How do you, how do people you know get involved in that? How does that work? Um, well, obviously, there's a lot of different programs that have to do with it. Um, at least at Foothill, we require 75 hours of community service to graduate. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, you're pretty motivated to do community service so you can graduate high school. Um, and so we have a club called Key Wins that um, gives you community service opportunities and there's so many programs around Ventura that offer programs for students to do. Like I did Food Share two weeks ago, mm -hmm. Habitat for Humanity, all of those things. And also our media center, basically our library shows different opportunities to um, help out with community service every week. So mm -hmm. that's helpful too. How do they define community service? Are there limitations, some things yeah. you can do? Something? There's a lot of limitations actually. Well, not a lot, but there's um, only, I don't want to say a random number, but 
Um, we have a distinct number of community service um, organizations that we can go to at Foothill. Mm -hmm. So that narrows it down. But I mean, there's still a lot. Right. So right. usually everyone can find something, some, something that they're interested in. But the one problem for me was I'm really interested in politics. And right. that doesn't count as community service because the schools don't want to be biased. Right. So, and also I know for my friends who um, help out at their church, that doesn't count for community service either. Mm. So they may go help out in the nursery or help with school at their church for 100 hours, but right. it doesn't count, right. which I think is frustrating. But yep. I mean, there's nothing really we can do about it. Right, right. So. I know, I think one of the things that you're involved with here in, in Ventura is um, the uh, all school show choir uh, company. Maybe you can, comment, talk a little bit about that and how that works. And I guess it brings all the high schools into one yeah. classroom setting. Well, there's upsides and downsides to the district thing. The mm -hmm. um, It's an all district show choir that meets at 615 Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday mornings, mm -hmm. and usually on Sundays. So there's a lot of practice that goes on. But um, the one thing that's kind of a bummer about it being all district is we can't compete because it has to be one high school. Oh, OK. So um, that's always kind of a bummer. We went and saw John Burroughs High School Show Choir last week, mm -hmm. and that was so cool, and they're number one in the country. But, I mean, it was kind of depressing to think that we can never compete, but it's still fun. It's still a great way to meet people, meet people from other schools that you wouldn't necessarily talk to. Right, right. And whoever, everyone has, you know, the same passion of music and dancing. So mm -hmm. it's a great group to get involved with. I recommend it completely. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I can imagine. So you perform throughout the year, though? Yeah, we have um, a show in um, December and a show in May, usually. And then we have sporadic shows throughout the year, like little ones. Like we're performing a big bag. We're opening for Big Bad Voodoo Daddy mm -hmm. in a couple of weeks, and we're doing a flash mob. Ooh, I don't know if that's, that's a secret, but um, we're doing a flash mob, and um, we have other random performances. Yeah, yeah. that we do. So. Yeah. Come and check so, us out. Yeah, we, we'll do that. Um, <laughs> so let me just ask you real quickly, then, there's company. Do you, do you have friends like in all the other high schools, or do you find most of your friends come from your high school? Well, I mean, friends, what do you mean, friends in show choir? No, no, I'm sorry, in general, outside of show choir. Uh, um, well, a lot of my friends, um, most of my friends are at Foothill, just because I'm with them a lot. but. Right through show choir, through sports, through everything. You meet a lot of new people. I did basketball for a freshman and sophomore year. Mm -hmm. So um, I met a lot of people through that. And from middle school, I have a lot of friends. Um, speaking of middle school, just really fast, company also has the middle sh school show choir, oh. which is Crescendo, and um, elementary school notables. So also, those are opportunities for people. OK, OK. Um, well, we're coming to the end of our time here, Mallory, so uh, let me open it up. Do you have any other observations, comments you'd like to make about being a high school student here in Ventura? Well, I would just say we're so lucky. We live in such a beautiful city, and there's so many great opportunities around Ventura. I mean, we're a beach town, and it's so funny whenever I tell my <laughs> friends in, like, Ohio and Michigan, like, I live on the beach, and they're like, ah, I never heard of the beach. <laughs> So it's just, it's a great place to grow up and we have so many beautiful things around here, so. I think you're right. Yeah. Well, good, thank you very much. Thank and thank you, you to all of, all of you for um, joining us today. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this show and we'll look forward to having you come back again. Thank you.